Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwightman.com and in this video, we'll show you how to fix the failed status read failed too many links error message. So the two most common reasons for this issue and how you could fix it. The first fix is to change a USB cable and use a different cable while most of the times it's always advise you to use the official cable but in some cases using a USB cable from a different manufacturer or OEM might also work out. For example, if you're using a Pixel phone, you may try using a USB cable from Xiaomi or OnePlus and check if it works for you or not. Secondly, please use the USB 2.0 port on your PC and not the USB 3.0 port. The USB 3.0 port are usually blue in color. You may check that out and skip that and use the USB 2.0 port. There have been quite a few issues with the 3.0 port when it comes to flashing and routing and all such stuff. So please use the USB 2.0 port. So in most cases, Changing a USB cable a couple of times or using the USB 2.0 port rectifies the issue. But if it does not do so in your case, then your next course of action is to use the official ADB drivers from Google. So go to my link and from here, first and foremost, you'll have to get hold of the Android SDK platform tools. So just a minute, this is the official Android SDK platform tools. Get hold of it from here and extract them onto your PC. This is for the Windows, Linux and Macs. You can download the one which correspond to your OS. As of now, I'm using Windows. So get hold of it from here and extract them anywhere on your PC. Once you have done the extraction, in my case, it's the C Droidwin platform tools folder. You will now also have to add this directly to the OS path. So as to instruct the OS that you have the platform tools inside this directory. So for that, once you have done the extraction, search for the environmental variables. It's the edit environmental variable for your computer. So go there. Then under system variables, now select path and double click on it to open it. And you should now see the path variable over here. If the path variable is not shown, then first off, copy the path variable from here and then go to this directory, hit the new button and type in the new path. And then you will have to click on OK. And with this, the directory will be saved. Once it has been saved, I will highly re recommend you to restart your PC once. So once you have added the directly hit the OK button and then restart your PC upon the restart again verify if you are able to get this job done or not if you are still facing this issue then let's move ahead with the, the next fix so next up it's highly recommended that you use the CMD and not the PowerShell because in case of PowerShell you will have to use a forward slash as well as a period or a full stop before every command which only tends to make the matter more complicated. Whereas in case of CMD, that is not the case. You could directly use the command without any forward slash or period as such. So use the CMD window and then see if it fixes the issue for you or not. Next up, one more important thing is that you should always launch the CMD inside the ADB directory. If that is not the case, then you may do so via two different methods. The first off is go inside the folder where you have extracted platform tools, then type in CMD here and hit enter. It will launch command prompt inside platform tools directory. If that does not work, then simply go to the start menu, search for CMD and open it. Now copy the path of the platform tools, then open the CMD window, type in CD space and paste the path and hit enter. As you could see, we are now inside the platform tools directory. So you may either just type in CMD in the platform tools folder directory or use the chain directory command and then paste the path of the platform tools and then you will be inside the platform tools directory and only now you may type in the required commands. If you type in the command simply while you are in the C users directory or if you type in the command from anywhere else, then it will not work. The command prompt has to be inside the platform tools folder only. The directory of platform tools does not matter. What matters is that the command prompt should be inside the platform tools folder. So keep this point in mind and then check if it fixes the issue for you or not. Again, if you're facing the issue, then there are a few other points worth keeping in mind. First off, verify that the file which you are flashing is for your phone only. Nowadays, there are quite a few phones via the Mini Pro, Ultra Max and all such phones. Make sure it's exactly built for your phone only. Moreover, the file which you are flashing should be placed inside the platform to folder only. If the file is placed anywhere else, then it will not work. So copy and paste the file over here inside the platform tool directory. If you have done that as well, then also make sure that the file name is correct. For instance, in most cases, I usually name the recovery as twrp.img, but by default, that will not be the name. In most cases, the recovery name is somewhat longer. 
so for instance let me show you if i download a recovery online this is the recovery name so you will always the command which i have shown is like this so in the, i always advise you to do a rename if you haven't done so and if you simply use this command if you simply use this command to flash the recovery then it will not work so instead make sure that the command which you are using the file name is the exactly the same as the one which is given in the command if the file name is different then it will not work so verify the file name as well and the file should be there inside the platform tool folder only once that is done verify if it rectifies the issue for you or not if you are again facing the issue then your next course of action is to verify if your phone has a recovery partition or not this is quite important you may check out my guide it's a detailed guide on everything with regards to wrp recovery as you can see from here i have listed all the steps and all the use case scenario still if you want to in short let me show you so if your phone has a recovery partition then you will have to flash the recovery in the recovery partition but if your phone does not have a recovery partition then you will have to take the help of boot partition so first and foremost let's verify if the phone has recovery partition or not so in this regard you will have to get hold of android sdk platform tools which we have done already and as you could see this is the platform tools directory once that is done you will have to open cmd window inside platform tools which we have opened as well now apart from after that you will have to connect your phone to pc via usb cable once that is done you will have to enable usb debugging as well so go to set settings menu go to about phone tap on build number 7 times you will get a prompt that you are now a developer in case of zomi phone instead of build number you will have to tap on moui version 7 times now go back go to system developer option and enable the toggle next to usb debugging and tap on okay you might get a prompt on your phone regarding rc key prompt so again tap on allow and with this debugging is enabled let's verify the same so type in adb devices and make sure that you are getting a serial id if you are not getting any id then that could be the reason behind this issue as well so in that case unplug and replug your phone from the pc disable and re-enable usb debugging after that use some other usb cable use the usb 2.0 port on your pc and if nothing works out tap on revoke usb debugging and then tap on okay once that is done now unplug your phone and turn off debugging as well then replug your phone to your pc after that re enable usb debugging then tap on okay and now type in the command you will now get a prompt if this is your own pc you may also check mark always allow from this computer and type on allow now type in the command adb devices and you should now get a serial id once you are getting this id first of all you will have to type in adb shell and hit enter and this should show your phone name or your phone code name and next up type in this command so copy this command from here and paste it in the cmd window as well after that type in this command and it will bring up a list of all the partitions on your phone so as you could see so this is a oneplus 9 pro and in oneplus 9 pro as you could see there is no recovery partition we only have the raw dump partition by the r name there is no recovery partition in case of oneplus 9 pro so we cannot use the recovery partition on the other hand if we talk about the POCO F5 then the POCO F5 does have a recovery partition let me show you it's the code name marble so in some cases you might get the phone name in some cases you might get the phone code name the marble is for the phone name and IN is the India region so with this this is the marble which is the POCO F5 and as you could see let me show you it has a recovery A and the recovery B partition so the POCO F5 has a recovery partition so you could flash the file to this recovery partition itself so in this regard if your phone has a recovery partition which was the case with the POCO F5 then you may simply use the forward flash recovery command and the wrp.img is the name of the recovery file which should be placed inside the platform tool folder so simply copy the file from here and paste it inside the platform tool folder and rename it to twrp.img and then use the command forward flash recovery twrp.img it will flash the recovery file to the recovery partition since our phone has the recovery partition but in the case of oneplus 9 pro as i have shown you the oneplus 9 pro did not have a recovery partition as you could see from here there is no recovery partition so we will have to take the help of boot partition to get this job done so type in fastboot boot twrp.img and with this your phone will temporarily boot to wrp after that you may then flash the wrp zip file to obtain permanent recovery or you may also use the flash current wrp feature if it's su supported by your phone and with this the recovery will be flashed permanently so again i am repeating your phone has a 
recovery partition, then simply use the recovery partition to flash the file. If it does not have a recovery partition, then use the boot command to temporarily boot your phone to recovery and then use the WRP zip file or the flash current WRP feature to make the WRP permanent. Once that is done, you should not face any issues then, but still if you are facing any issue, then your last course of action is a slightly weird fix, but it tends to work in some cases. So now what you have to do is simply power off your PC as well as turn off your phone. Apart from that, if possible, try using a different PC and then try out the entire process after half an hour. After, so in the meantime, it's recommended to keep your phone turned off and try and also power off your PC or try using a different PC and then retry all these steps once again and this time around the issue should be fixed for you and you will no longer face the failed such as read failed too many links issue. If you are still facing any issue then do let me know in the comment section. I will try to find more fixes and get back to you in the comments. So guys on that note I round off this video and thanks a lot for watching.